Hey VC, welcome back. I am <laughs> battling another cold. Um, welcome back, this is Hubtoons. I am Mike. Um, this is it, the last installment of the year for rock and roll birthdays. Um, this has been fun, I don't know. The comments, it seems like everyone's enjoyed it. So it's just a kitschy way to just show some damn records. So uh, thanks for tuning in all year. Uh, I've been doing it once a month. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end this series. So I got another series coming up. And I think I got a little channel announcement. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it because it's really not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, I might. I got a little channel announcement. I got to do a... I don't know. We'll see. Um, but let's get into it. Rock and Roll Birthdays for December 2022. Um, first up. John Densmore, uh, guitarist for The Doors. Off to a great start. Guitarist for The Doors is 78 years old. This is my favorite Doors record, LA Woman. Uh, it's also probably in my top two or three records of all time. I love this record. Awesome, awesome record. If you guys did not pick up the... And these are still available. I have seen these on record store shelves from Record Store Day. I think it was this summer. Um, this is great. These outtakes and... Demo sessions from LA Woman. I highly recommend this. They sound incredible, and it's just them noodling around in the studio, playing different versions of the songs. This is awesome. I I, I listen to this so much. I, I I'm surprised at how much I listen to it because I normally don't listen to the stuff like that. It's more collectible stuff, but um, really really cool. Excellent excellent stuff. So if you see it in a shop, pick it up. Um, I I know they're out there. I've seen a, quite a few of them actually. Oh, we're rough to a real good start here. Uh, uh, Chris Hillman of The Birds is 78. This is my favorite Birds record, uh, The Fifth Dimension. Uh, this is the one with Eight Miles High, and that is one of the greatest songs ever, ever recorded. I love the psychedelic folkiness of this record. Great, great record. Uh, who's up next? We got Meg White of The White Stripes. I'm not the biggest White Stripes fan. Um, but she is six, uh, 68. No, she's 48. Sorry, Meg. Uh, this is Blood Clots. Uh, this is a good record. I, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest White Stripes fan. I love Jack White's solo stuff. I, I think his solo stuff is way better than White Stripes stuff. Um, this is pretty good, though. I, I like this record. This is the one White Stripes record I own, and I do enjoy it. It's very, very good. Uh, Chester Thompson. Who's Chester Thompson? Chester Thompson is 74, and he is the touring drummer for Genesis. Uh, when Phil Collins would step out from behind the drums and uh, vocalize, he was the drummer. Um, a lot of times they would play with two drummers, too. Uh, but this is a great live album. I'm not a Phil Collins fucking fan at all. I can't stand any of the Phil Collins Genesis. But, man, this is a really, really solid uh uh, Genesis record live from I probably 80 might be 80 my voice is cracking <laughs> can you guys hear that uh, <coughs> anyway uh seconds out really really good live album probably 79 or 80 um highly recommend this this is right after Peter Gabriel left so it's really still pretty quality stuff um oh Sinead O'Connor is 56 I cannot find my Sinead O'Connor record no idea where it is. Uh, the great guitarist Dickie Betts of the Allman Brothers Band is... How old is he? He is 79. 79 years old. This is uh, the world-famous greatest live album ever recorded. Uh, live at the Fillmore East. My Mobile Fidelity. Sounds absolutely spectacular. <sighs> One of the greatest live albums ever. Absolutely amazing. Uh, next up... Tom Berlin of television is 73. This is a underrated record. Their debut, there's no way any band could follow a debut like their debut. So anything that came out afterwards, people would be poo-pooing. I think this is really underrated. Excellent, excellent record. It's called Adventure, and I highly, highly recommend it. Kind of that country, country punkish. And here's a punk. This also gets, this record also doesn't get panned, but... Yeah, it kind of does. But uh, Paul Simeon of The Clash is 61 years old. Um, I would have thought he'd be older. 
But <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, yeah, Paul Simeon, drummer for The Clash. This is their second record. The first one, obviously, Harold is one of the great punk debuts of all time. Uh, I like this record. I think this is great. This is solid, solid follow up. And I don't understand why people poo poo it. I, I really love this record. Uh, the great vocalist for Free and Bad Company and The Firm and that ill advised Queen uh, debacle. Paul Rogers is 73. Uh, the great debut by Bad Company. Not a bad song on here. Uh, on Swan Song, um, I'm sure everyone knows this record. Great record. Um, perfect record, really. Um, also one of those records I never listened to because every song just gets, when I was a kid on the radio, overplayed, over, overplayed. And finally, the great one. Keith is 79. He will be 80 next year. Keith Richards, 79, guitarist for the Rolling Stones. This is Between the Buttons. This is my favorite early Rolling Stones record. I guess it would be considered early. It's kind of in that mid-early. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of like the early, early Stones stuff. Uh, as far as their records go, sure, they had a great, they had a bunch of great singles. But as far as their records go, I'm not a huge fan. This is the first one where I'm like, oh, that's really good. That and uh, Af Aftermath are really, really good. Um, but this is, I love this album cover. I love everything about this. Keith Richards, still hanging in there at 79. Feels like he should be older, but let's not rush it, because how long is he going to be around? Uh, I always do a little honorable mentions. Sometimes I do them at the beginning. I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> I'm cranked up on, on Mucinex. Uh, a couple of honorable mentions. If they were alive, Sonny Boy Williamson, the blues guitarist, would be 110. Little Richard would be 90. Edith Piaf would be 106 if she was still alive. Dennis Wilson, the great uh, drummer for the Beach Boys, he would be 78 if he was still alive. Dave Brubeck, the jazz pianist, 102 if he was still alive. Uh, the incredible Randy Rhodes, guitarist for Ozzy Osbourne and Quiet Riot, would be 66 if he was still alive. And finally... Chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, would be 107 years old if he was still alive today. So um, that's it. That series is over. It's a wrap. No more birthdays. Maybe I'll do a maybe maybe I'll do one or two, you know, in the middle of the year just for kicks. But uh, yeah, that's been fun. You guys, thanks for watching this silliness. I great greatly appreciate it. You guys, stay well. Bye.